Hi guys, so it is spring now and basically I just want to show you what is blooming now. It is springtime, it is March the 28th and in this beautiful afternoon I just want to show you what I have. And of course the very first thing that we see there are our beautiful daffodils. And then I have some uh, tulips there that are not in bloom yet. But that's the, that's the idea of always having something blooming first and then followed by something else. But they are full of a lot of little blooms right there, so I'm so happy about that. Then we have more, um, not uh, tulips, but those are, why did I forget the name? Some type of daisies. I think, I believe it's a yellow daisy. And here we have our hydrangea. And there's more daffodils. I love daffodils. They look so pretty. Love that striking yellow. Is it a beautiful? And then here we have more tulips. So this year, uh, there's something that's been eating my tulips, but that's okay. Because I can still see a lot of little blooms coming up there. So that's okay. There we have more. Not too much, but something. And then we have here another small garden of just tulips. And this is where, um, where I believe that the rabbits ate the leaves around it, but I still see some little tulips forming, so that's okay. But none of them have bloomed yet. Here's another one. And now let me show you one that it's about to open up. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Just awesome. I love it. And then here we have, of course, the daffodils. They don't last too long. Um, this, I believe, has been in bloom for about two weeks. And then here's another type of, uh, I don't know the variety, but they are double, like the petals. They are so pretty, and they have a, a really nice scent. Um, this one, however, did not bloom last year. I don't know what happened. It was like cold and then it got really hot a couple days and then it just didn't bloom. But I can see that some are about to open, so I'm so excited. But as you guys can see, these are like, they have like two, sometimes three comes with like different flowers. So I love this variety. When I got it, it was just a couple and um in two years they just multiplied and that's actually i took uh from here i took more to put over here so definitely once uh, they get established and they like where they're at they start producing more and then you can just put them somewhere else right there and then here in the back of the house i have a lot of spanish uh, bluebells they look like asparagus like the stem and the scent is just the scent is so aromatic um it's similar to a high scent so i really like this little bells they are so pretty and last but not least what is blooming is also our for cynthia in no time about three days ago none of them were open and then it just opened up but we did have a beautiful weather um sunday and also today we had a really nice weather but um this started like last year just a couple branches and then i heavily heavily pruned it once all the um flowers were done and it started just having tons of uh, leaves i just heavily heavily pruned it and it just took off so i love her cynthia's and i love the color yellow so that is it guys i hope that your garden has a lot of flowers um i am in new jersey zone six so this is what i have i hope you guys enjoy the video take care bye